here is um, another Disney book. Um, it is the one that you're going to see uh, me build. There is no tutorial for this other than watching um, how I put it together and um, I do tell the measurements. Uh, on the video I didn't um, finish the cover. It, it just covers and may take a long long time to figure out. So, But the, I used um, the chipboard pieces and I used um, the papers for the most part to create the cover and throughout the book I used most of the chipboard and I used some of the stickers. I am going to sell sell this book and I will include what's left um, inside the package. These are um, Simple Stories papers. They're Say Cheese 2. Um, I couldn't find any Say Cheese 3. Now let's see the ribbon and the stickles that I used are not from the set. The rest is can be found in the papers. This was a piece. Let's see, we got a cut apart, a sticker, a sticker, a sticker, and some black paper for some mounting. Chipboard, obviously, a sticker. Now I stuck all this stuff down with glue, even though it has adhesive on the back of it. It is not strong enough to stay put really on anything so um, don't be fooled by that sticky adhesive get yourself some uh, nice Aline's tacky glue and um, get it stuck down and see the stickers on the on the spine you know when I build this I explain that I use um, mulberry paper to cover the spine with and I do it because it's got nice long fibers in it and this is not going to crack or break. It's really, really pliable all by itself. But yeah, as you can see, just like that, it was pretty plain. So I dressed it up with some uh, gold stickles. Uh, I used um, nearly two pads of the Simple Stories and I used um, nearly two packs of um, this is Simple's Basic Kit. Now these are not cheap, these these kits. They don't have that many sheets of paper in them. Five sheets actually. And um, so for the price it, it was a little steep and I didn't use the craft colored papers because it was just off from my um, my craft colored card stock. Um, my craft card stock is from Hobby Lobby. It's um, a little heavier than what you get when you go to Michael's and I like it and I don't like it. So it's, um, I got it on sale so I have a bunch of it to use up no matter how I feel about it. Uh, okay, so we open this up. Here I used um, a stamp that I, I've had for a while. I did create a piece on a magnet to go under here. You don't have to do that. And the hands I had from when I created a previous scrapbook. So I used those in two places just on these pages. Um, this is stickers. So it's Believe in uh, Magic. Okay, we have a a skinny pocket here which means it's glued down directly at the corners it's, it doesn't fold over and, and pop up like this does so you could slide a photo or um, tickets or you know, something thin in there or nothing at all just mount photos um, I do show you how to put this all together 
so and and it's right here on YouTube available for you to watch it's mounted on this cranberry colored cardstock um, I used to, I used to cut apart a lot. I created a little booklet. Um, this is a um, stub punch. I think it's the one from Stampin' Up because it looks like it's a little smaller. Um, there's also one by um, Crocodile. I'm one of their corner chompers that does a stub. Now this is a cut apart from the paper, believe it or not. Uh, the ribbon is something I picked up at Halloween. Uh, where did I pick it up? Jeez, I don't remember. Um, this is one of the cut aparts. I made a little tag. Now this is adhered just at the edge so something can be slid under. Journaling and of course photos can mount here and the hands aren't glued all the way down so you can slide a nice big photo here and the head is a stopper. There are photo mats in between each. Um, I used um, my envelope uh, punch From we are memory keepers and I just slid it in here and punched it and I also show that in the video um, there, you don't have to make them this way you can use some other punch or none at all and these all have magnet closures here's a crisscross pocket a piece of chipboard a cut apart stickers and and all this stuff I glued down with glue wet glue um, a couple of tags uh, the ribbon I do glue down with hot glue okay and when I'm cutting my pockets and things um, you know I always have paper left over and so I try to use them uh, on the tags, on making the pockets and things like that. Um, this this little piece is a cut apart from the paper, so I made this flap to fit that. Um, these are little chipboard pieces glued on. The believe is already on there. Um, magnet. It's up, whips down, and a skinny pocket. another photo mat and the photo mats is where I used um, a lot of the six by uh, a lot of the 12 by 12 papers and um, as I say in the videos you can certainly um, do one pack of paper um, create your um, pages and just put the pattern paper where you're going to see it when you first see the page uh, and then go back and fill in with coordinating papers that you have in your stash or you maybe have found um, elsewhere. Okay. Um, chipboard piece. This is a solid piece. It's a cut apart from the papers. A nice full pocket. And this is this is how I utilized some scraps. I had so I did, um, I had this piece of blue which I wanted to use because it matched and it wasn't quite white enough as you can see here. So I added a journaling spot and then I just covered the seam with um, a piece of the gold which matches with the rest of the page. This is um, a band page, it's not a belly band, it's a vertical band and I adhered the top piece down so we could slide this under it. These are cut apart from the paper and then you have a nice big mat here and the stopper was just created from the pattern paper and um, the craft card stock. 
Get a nice large photo mat. It's just a simple pocket page. I used the chipboard and the stickers to dress it up a little bit. And there's a little little journaling book that has a magnet closure that keeps it attached there. Okay. This is simply ribbon. Uh, one of the pieces of chipboard with a magnet and the ribbon adhered underneath and then a piece of the pa a scrap of the pattern paper over the ribbon and the magnet so none of that's exposed. Um, this is a cut apart from the paper again. Slips open and open. Okay. This is something that a beginner can do. That's why they're not terribly complicated flips in there. Um, this is this sort of looks like suspenders. Um, this is a sticker. This is a chipboard. Um, when I have the chipboards lifted up like this, I um, actually glued them to a piece of, of paper, uh, trimmed it, and then put my glue on my edge. So this is one of the cut aparts. Mounted on cardstock, and and this is created from the cut aparts. Um, this page, unfortunately, I um, my camera was off, um, silly me. But I do go back and explain to you how I put it together. This is chipboard, and it is glued down with wet glue, ribbon. These are. Um, almost tag size. Um, they're cut so they have, you can um, score and have the space in there. So um, you could utilize tags this way, just sort of be a, aware of how they're going to lay down on your page. Okay, and we got a, another skinny pocket here. The last page is a double pocket. Again, this is a piece of chipboard. This, these are stickers, and it's truly two pockets. And I show you how to make that. It's made out the the both two pockets are made out of one piece of paper, and the back is this flip on a nice deep pocket. Okay, so there it is. It's a lot of fun to put together. The most fun in these things is um, doing the embellishing. And that's where your imagination comes in. Don't just depend on mine. Um, have fun and there are step-by-step -step videos to go with this book. We'll see you again soon with something new.